I'm not okay, guys. And frankly, it's okay that I'm not okay. So this is a difficult video, but I think one that needs to exist to, I don't know, if it helps even one person, let alone helps myself, um, it's, it's worthwhile. And yes, the video is monetized. No, I'm not donating this monetization to charities that deal, you know, with, you know, suicides and depression and that's all fine and dandy, but I mean, this is my job. I make videos for a living. I have a family to support. I'm not exactly rolling in the dough here, right? So, uh, yeah, the money's going to go to my pocket because I need it. Um, that being said, we have to talk about um, something that I, I mentioned on this week's podcast, and people noticed throughout that live stream that I seemed off. I needed a beer. I needed a shot. I needed something because I looked pissed off. I looked angry and it wasn't, it had nothing to do with Mike, had nothing to do with any of you, had nothing necessarily to do with this YouTube channel. I have depression. Um, I've had it for a while, but I thought I sort of beat it as much as one can beat depression. I kind of knew it was always sort of there under the surface, but I was in therapy for a lot of years. And then a couple years ago, I sort of came out the other side with a much brighter view on the world. And I've been sort of that way for a couple years. I haven't been in therapy for a couple years and, and things have been mostly going well for me with my, my attitude and my approach to life and trying to have fun. And you guys are on my live streams and you kind of see how it, it goes. But Honestly, there's been something bubbling there for a little while. You, I, I know you guys maybe on a live stream saw me explode a couple of weeks ago at a particular user that was really annoying me. I should have just banned him without even addressing it, the, the situation. And maybe that's where this started. I'm not really sure because it really came ahead about three days ago. I started feeling really, really angry. Every little negative thing that happened, didn't matter what it was, could stub my toe I would go from zero to 200 in literally half a second. And I've just been kind of living there for the last three days. Uh, you know, bless my soul to, to my fiance, because uh, she she deals with depression as well and deals with, with, with severe anger at times. And uh, she's been very supportive of me through this because I'm not used to this. I, I've had depression before, but not the severe anger. And don't worry, I haven't hurt anyone. I haven't hurt myself. I don't plan to hurt anyone. And honestly, the reason I can make this video is because today feels like the day I turned a corner. I'm not back to being my normal self. You guys have probably noticed we haven't had Prime 5 videos lately. We even haven't, haven't even had a regular stream of content. Our live streams have been inconsistent. The only thing that's still happening on time, I guess, is the podcast. But even that happened later than usual yesterday. Nothing is quite right right now. But I can make this video because I am slowly climbing out of it. And I think a lot of it is just the buildup of various stressors in my life. Um, raising children. I raised three kids. I don't know how many of you know this, but I, I do raise three children and they're not like super young. Okay. We got what a, a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old and an almost 12-year-old. She turns 12 in December. So she's in middle school and it's, it's a lot as a parent, to, to, to raise children. Anyone who raises a single child, let alone multiple children like I do, know that it's a lot. And I'm fortunate enough that I have Yulia. This isn't a broken home. And it's still hard, okay? Um, there's the fact that, hey, I'm doing YouTube full-time, and I love this. And I know some people are going to be down already typing away, take a break, take all the time you need. YouTube's sort of the one thing, well, not the one thing, but one of the few things that I actually look forward to. Uh, I enjoy making content. I enjoy uh, talking to you guys. Uh, I've been doing less live streams because obviously I don't like to project forward negativity. Uh, I don't like to project forward, uh, you know, just this constant downer attitude. It's not something I'm into. And honestly, if some of you guys are out there trying to be like, hey, we want to show some extra support to the channel, I'm not 
Hey, we have a Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. You don't have to do that. You can become a member. You don't have to do that. We also have partnered with Into the AM. You can get these really cool shirts, 10% off. Link down in the description. But I wanted to address this now because I wanted to let you guys know that it's also okay if you're not okay. And sometimes the first step you need to do is admit to it. Depression comes in many forms. There's minor depression, clinical depression. It, it, there's just so many different levels. Lots of medications out there, lots of different types of therapies. Whether you want to seek a religion for therapy, whether you want to seek a, you know, counseling, uh, you know, find your individual therapist that works for you, seek hotlines. If you're suicidal, I highly encourage that you at least reach out to one of the hotlines that will try to help you. In fact, we'll put a suicide hotline uh, down in the description because I, I, I want to make sure that you know if you are someone that's there, that you get that help. I'm thankfully not there. Maybe you couldn't say that two days ago. And I can say that today, that it feels like I've turned a corner. The anger's still there. <laughs> I had one little negative thing happen earlier today, and I got really mad. But then it went away. And that lets me know that I'm going to be okay. I did call my therapist today, talk to her, uh, and it, it seems like I'm going to be okay. Maybe this is because I've already learned how to push through this through all my years of therapy and, and how to still be there and do what I need to do. But the, a lot of you guys don't ever get that. You can be in counseling your whole life. You can be me on medication your whole life. You can, I don't know, maybe you smoke weed. Whatever you do to help with your mood, it just kind of exists. You know, depression runs in my family everywhere. Not just my fiance and myself. My sister has it. My mom, probably my dad as well. I don't know. He, not someone that likes to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, but the reality is that it is very, very prevalent. A lot of people have depression and a lot of people have situations in life where they're just not okay, but they pretend. They push through. They go to their work. They do their job. They take care of their schoolwork. And everything seems all perfect. Even like the most perfect of situations where a family, a person, everything looks like they have so much going for them. But up here, it might not actually be going that well. And I wanted to let you guys all know that I'm not okay. But it's okay that I'm not okay. And it's okay if you're not as well. I just want you to be able to admit it to yourself because admitting it is the first step towards doing something about it. Then ask for help. If you're not willing to reach out and get the help yourself, it took me many years when I was younger to realize this, then seek a friend, seek a family member. Let somebody know that you're not okay. Don't just accept you're not okay. If you need help, tell somebody, somebody you trust. Even if you don't know what to do, you don't know the next steps, you don't know where to seek counseling, you don't know where to seek religious advice, or you don't know where to seek whatever, whatever is going to work for you. You don't know, you know how to seek out medical help because, again, there's a lot of meds out there. One of those might work for you. It might take a long time to figure out which one, but one of them might work. You might not know where to start, and I can't tell you because every person is different. But what I can tell you is the first steps admitting you're not okay and not thinking that not being okay means you're defeated. A key turning point in the mentality to solve and push through depression is realizing that being in that state doesn't mean you're defeated, even though it feels like it. Feels like it'll never get better. Feels like nobody cares. Feels like you are in the darkest of the dark and nobody can see you. There is no light. It's okay. You're not defeated because you're still here. You could still turn it around. You could still get help. You could still come out the other side a stronger, better human being. So I don't want to waste a lot of your time. I'm not taking a break. I actually really enjoy YouTube. I don't know when content's going to feel normal. If you notice, my videos are a little different or my attitude. If I do decide to live stream, I will not be streaming tonight. This video is kind of in place of that live stream. Um, just know that, hey, I'm okay. I'll let you know if I'm not. And uh, I'll also let you know when I'm all the way through and we're back.